Welcome to Faith Healing Friday. Wayne sitting here at secondatom.com. We come every Friday praying for your healing. Praying for your healing. What is it that you need to be healed of? See, the enemy brings sickness. The enemy brings disease. The enemy brings these infirmities. But Jesus Christ said, by his stripes, it's very clear in the book of Isaiah, by his stripes, you were healed. So we're coming to pray, to come into agreement with you. The Bible says if there's any sick among you, any sick among you, let the elders pray, and the prayer of faith will heal the sick. So I'm releasing a prayer of faith right now that because I believe in the finished work of the cross. I believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. I believe that what we release, the word, when we release the word, that then heaven moves. Amen. Do you need a healing today? I want you to do something. Number one, I want you to type in comments below. Type in comments below whatever you need prayer for today. If it's a physical, if it's mental, if it's financial, anything that you need God to touch. You need the Spirit of the Lord just to move in your life. I want you to post in comments below. Number two, I want you to hit the share button. Somebody needs to see this. Somebody today has given up hope. They've given up. They don't know what to do. They're getting a bad report from the doctor. But you're going to be uh, one that shares this with them and bring hope back into their life. Hit the share button. Amen? Now, let's pray. Let's pray believing. And here's what I say. When I say pray believing, that means pray with a smile on your face. doesn't matter what the doctor said. doesn't matter what the prognosis looks like in the natural, in the supernatural realm of the glory. Amen. All things are possible. Put a smile on your face and say, thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. Because, and you've heard me say this if you follow me, guys, before he went to the cross, amen, he went to the whipping post. Before he went to the cross, for your sins, he went to the whipping post. And it says, strike by strike, wound for wound, you were healed. You're healed in Jesus' name. Just receive it. Walk into it. Amen. Just like he said, Lord, forgive me of my sins and you're forgiven. Lord, I receive my healing and you're healed. Walk into it. So right now in the name of Jesus, I just speak a healing blessing, a healing revolution, a healing revelation, a healing touch from the glory realm to everyone watching this. We speak against anything that is not of God, any, any disease, any infirmity, any spirit of pain, any spirit of sickness. We command you by the name of Jesus Christ to leave and we call forth healing by the blood of Jesus. We speak into the body to be healed, be restored. Be healed and be restored in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want you to grab a hold of this. It's that simple. Say, Lord, I thank you for my healing. I thank you. I walk into it. I receive it. I receive it. And we know that the Holy Ghost is going to move and touch and heal and just bring life back. Amen. That is his will. It is his will. Amen. That you would prosper and be in good health. Are you in good health today? Amen. That's his will for you. So, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for everyone watching this. We thank you by the authority of the name Jesus Christ, by the blood that was shed, and by our faith saying we trust in you, Lord, as our healer. By that, we know that you are going to move, that bodies are going to be restored. Just as the woman with the issue of blood, Lord, she touched the hem of your garment, and you said, who touched me? I felt the virtue leave. May the virtue of Jesus Christ touch you right now as you're watching this. May the virtue of Christ, that healing virtue, touch you right now where you're at. Amen and amen. Look for the supernatural to take place. Test your body. See it. Give your praise report below. And when you're posting your comments below, when you're posting your praise report below, I want you to look for the other people. And I want you to say, Lord, I pray for that one. I pray for the one with the, with the oh, wow, with the cancer. I pray for the one with the heart disease. I pray for the one that has to have surgery. I pray for these. And I know that when we pray, the Bible's clear, when you pray one for another, pray ye one for another that your prayers may be answered. So as you're praying, you're bringing that miracle into place with them, and also you're walking into your own. Amen? Come on. God is good. Jesus is good. Can I get an amen? So, do me a favor, guys. Hit the share button. If you need prayer, go to thesecondadam.com forward slash prayer. Our prayer team is going to pray with you. Go back and watch this video again. I'm telling you. I tell people, if you get, you watch this and you feel, well, well, Pastor Wayne, I felt the presence of the Lord, but I'm still sick. I felt the presence of the Lord, but the pain's still there. Go watch it again and watch it again and watch it again. Amen. Until you walk into that miracle. The first time I, I remember, and I've, I've shared this story before, a blind eye, a boy that was, he was, he was, he could see three or four or five feet, but he couldn't see beyond that. He was blind, about probably 95% blind. It took about five, maybe six prayers where we commanded and he, we tested. He was still blind. We commanded. We tested. We commanded. And then 
just like that his eyes opened up and he could see. That's what God, so you watch this again, you watch it again, you watch it again until you receive your miracle. You don't let the devil have any control over your life. Jesus Christ is Lord. Can I get an amen? Follow me here at thesecondadam.com forward slash prayer. If you need prayer, go there. Be sure to subscribe to us. If you're watching this on Facebook, follow us. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to follow us. We're here seven days a week bringing you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless.